Hey guys, hopefully you stayed tuned for the second part of this video. Um, the first video showed you, um, you know, how to pack on the shadows for this look right here. This is the finished eye. So this is as far as we got in the last video. Um, now there's not too much more for the eyes. Um, I'm just going to use a couple of um, other steps just to brighten up um, the overall lid color and, um, you know, the under the lash line here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the under the lash line first and then um, we're going to do the rest. So with that same green color that we used all over the lid, this one right here, I'm going to go in with that tiny rounded um, smudger brush again. Just a little bit and we're going to trace the lower lash line. And you're going to bring it all the way over to where the gold is. Okay, so it should look like that. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Um, you don't have to blend anything yet because we're going to add something else. So with that original brush that we used to pack on the colors, I'm taking Max um, Golden Olive Pigment. Looks like that. And I actually have a fair amount in the cap right now, so I'm just using what's in the cap to, um, you know, apply. So you want to get the color on the brush, and then you want to swirl the brush around to get it into the bristles. Otherwise, you will have some fallout because this is... A pigment and that's what they do okay so now that it's all over the bristles um, I liked the way this eye turned out originally when I did this eye, I liked that but I wanted an, like extra you know oomph of green in there so um, golden olive was you know ideal for that so what you want to do is you just want to pat it on the center all the way up to the crease. Just pat it on. And then what I did was I took that blending brush again and I blended out the edges. I blended it all over. But I didn't really touch the stuff that was in the, the middle. I left that pretty much right where it was see so now we're just gonna take a little bit more of the um, golden olive pigment now that it's blended out in the edges you can just put it on the center and you can leave it like that I blended it out a little bit more on this side so I'm just gonna wipe off a little bit of that golden olive from the brush and again, slightly take the edges out. Okay, so it should look like that. Alright, so now with the golden olive pigment, you're going to get it just on the tip of that brush, like that. Tap off any extra, and then we're just going to apply it right over top of that green that we put on the bottom lash line. Okay, so um, take some more of that gold color, just a little bit, and then we're just going to, this is something that I noticed with this look, um, and with any dark look that you make that you want to have like a brighter inner corner, um, reapplying that color will, you know, I don't even know how to describe what I'm trying to say, it's like, like if you continue to reapply the inner corner color, it's going to show up brighter and it's going to look like it's blended really well. So the more you apply throughout the process, like if you noticed, we applied after the green, we applied um, after we blended, and now we're applying it again. So it just sort of solidifies its place within the look, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does. So the eyes are done. We just need to apply eyeliner and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to take my Palladio Black eyeliner again. 
um, actually that's not even the first thing that I did. I took NYX's pencil liner in uh, yellow and I applied this first. Now this, if you have smaller eyes, this look is really going to make you look like you have even smaller eyes. So to counteract that, if you take any brighter eyeliner color, it could be white, it could be like a light brown or even a yellow, um, and you apply it to your waterline, it's going to open up your eyes a lot. So really pack it on there. Okay, see how that like sort of opens up my eyes a little bit? So I don't want to open up my eyes because my eyes are already pretty huge. Um, so on top of that, I'm adding the Palladio Black. So you just want to pack it on there. And then tight line if you want to. Okay, I just totally messed up, but that's not a big deal. Okay, I really only tight line like the outer corners of my top lid. I don't know why, don't ask me. So now we're going to do some liner. And you just, you can do this however you want. I usually start in the middle of my lid and work outwards. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Don't worry, we will fix that. I can't really see what I'm doing, so that's why that eye looks ridiculous. But this eye looks pretty good. This is what we're going for. I'll fix that later. Now for the face. Um, I already applied like some sort of foundation, so I'm really just going to show you... Um, blush stuff. What you want for like a nice holiday look, if you're going for a dewy look, I would say um, use like a moist, uh, tinted moisturizer all over your face and then you can set it with like um, an iridescent um, like finishing dust. I have um, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, so what you could do is you could add like um, pink opal pigment to that, just a touch of it and it will give you a little bit of iridescence. Um, Otherwise, you could just use a powder to set it. Um, that's if you're not looking for a dewy look, though. If you want a dewy look, I would say just leave the, um, you know, foundation as it is. Um, for a bronzer, I'm going to use um, my NARS, what is this, South Beach. It's a cream. So I'm just going to take it with my finger. And you just want to apply it from, like, the top of the ear to the corner of your mouth in like a little bit of a line and then you can blend it out again on this side you can also use a kabuki brush to blend that out if you want Okay, now for blush, I'm going to use NARS is Orgasm for my blush. This has um, a lot of sparkle to it, and the Super Orgasm actually has chunks of glitter in it. So, not a fan of the huge chunks of glitter, so I'm never going to purchase that one. But you just want to tap it onto the cheekbone from the apples of your cheek and up. You can um, keep applying this to the amount of opaqueness you want. I'm not going to a holiday party right now, so there's no point in me doing that. A little bit on your nose, a little bit on your forehead, and you are done. For lips, I would say probably you could do a red lip with this. Um, that's a little bit more dramatic, so if you don't want that, I would say like a soft pink or like a pinky nude. Um, I'm just going to do my Revlon soft nude lip. Okay. And we 